Good morning. How are you? It's like 1130 and it's the Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, I spent the day with my mom and my dad and I had a good time. So I saw my nephew. He was like, what's up, auntie? I was like, what's up, nephew? I don't know who this is calling me. I don't even answer my home phone. Anywho, but, um, and I saw my brother-in-law. Always awesome to see my family. But anyway, my uh, friend from another town over came over to visit. She and her boyfriend. They came to my mom's house. I was like, all right, cool. I'll meet you guys at my mom's house. And they were like, all right, we're going to run over there. Because it's like our first day off in like so long. Anyway, so I was telling her I started a YouTube channel. And she was like, what? And I was telling her, I'm just telling stories about things that have gone on in my life. So she came up with three wonderful stories. So for the next three story times, I will be telling you stories that my girlfriend wanted me to tell. So the first one is, I think I'm going to tell a story about fire. Okay, so you guys, it's kind of chilly outside today, and I really would like to start up my fireplace, but... Because I live alone, when I am in the house by myself, I will not start a fire. Here's the reason why. I have set every house and barracks I have lived in on fire. When I'm home by myself. It's not a, I don't do it on purpose, it's an accident. So, because of that, I don't mess with fire. So, the first time I set a fire, I was in California, Fort Irwin, at the NTC, in the Army. And I was sick. And I came home. And I um lit a candle, a aromatherapy candle. And I was sitting there in the bed, and I must have fallen asleep. When I woke up, I woke up to my roommate shaking me violently, yelling, B, are you crazy? You're trying to burn down the damn barracks. Get your ass up. The damn building is on fire. I'm like, uh-oh. The building wasn't actually on fire. What happened is the candle burned, but it burned quickly. And the candle holder that it was in was like a um plasticky candle holder and it melted and it melted and um it was on top of some wood and the wood started smoking luckily she came in and fire averted so that is why I will not burn my fireplaces and my things of that nature from home by myself. The second time, okay, so I had an incident in Germany. Same thing happened, but it wasn't in the barracks this time. It was in government quarters. And uh, my ex-husband came in and woke me up that time. So, it's like something about fire just lulls me to sleep. It's like, uh, so relaxing. Let me just go to sleep on it. All right. So, the, my house in North Carolina, that wasn't my fault either. That really wasn't my fault. I was cooking. I turned my stove off, and it was an older model stove. Turned the stove off, but I let left the grease sitting on the eye. And all of a sudden, my fire alarm went off and it called the fire department and things of that nature. And my neighbor was like, oh, my God, your house is on fire and smoking. I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? So 
my nephew, my girlfriend had taken my nephew out for a job interview and my nephew was living with me. And so my nephew came in. He said, yay, auntie, I got the job. I was like, the house is on fire. He was like, no, I got the job. I was like, no, the house is on fire. He was like, what are you talking about? He walked in the kitchen. He was like, whoa. And this pan was smoking and burning. And I did not know what to do. And I was panicking. And he grabbed the pan and he went to put it in the sink. I was like, no, you're going to catch the curtains on fire. So he grabbed the pan. He ran outside with it and threw it out the house and burned up the bushes. Right now, to this day, the bushes still don't grow from what I understand. But it was funny. So the fire department got there. By the time the fire department got there, the fire was put out. It was just the house was full of smoke and things of that nature. So they they were mad because they were yelling at my nephew. Don't ever do that again. But my like my nephew said, they were just mad because they didn't get to use them big axes and chop my door down. Anyway. So. The moral of the story. Don't leave fire unattended because you'll burn your house down. <laughs> oh, my God. I have had a kind of like a little fire incident here at this house, but it wasn't my fault. It was my brother's fault. He, uh, this dummy took ashes out of the fireplace and put them in a cardboard box. And then, um, I was in a room and I was asleep. I woke up the next morning. I was like, what in the world? My carpet is on fire. When I looked at it, I'm noticing that, oh my God, I'm surprised that he didn't burn my house down. So, no, I don't do fires. I just go to my mom and dad's house and look at their fire the fireplace. Or I let my dad fix a fire when he comes over here in my fireplace and he puts it out before he leaves. I think I need to go get me a couple more fire extinguishers because of that. Anyway. Have a great day. Bye.